the project started with me. It was a few years ago. I started. I found. I came across a blog online for um, an Arduino controlled system, which was all Christmas lights flashing all the time with music, and I love the idea. So I pursued it and for that Christmas I, it was very amateur I had a, a light show I had relays it was only on off um, of lights that flashed the music and it was things that I found you know Christmas lights in the attic type thing and the next year I tried to do a little bit better but it didn't quite go to plan and then I came across looking at some um, I've always been interested in stage lighting systems so I came across the use of Artnet and these DMX pixels that I found so I got them very cheap from China strung them up in the garden and so I had 24 channels, so 24 channels of 251 LEDs, which I can control each LED, each colour and each level, all independently. And I did that, and then the next year I introduced fireworks to it all. So from there it's really just grown. So it's every year I try and add a little bit more to it, and that's really been my interest in trying to do the next, the next biggest show. We wanted to go for security systems, and so it started off with looking at what's out there and the different ways, and I went and visited IFSEC, a security show that happens every year, and from there it was meeting companies. So I've done, the biggest system we've got at the moment is a 32 camera system, all IP based, covering three warehouses, and um, that's been up since I've had it going and I, I maintain that now and keep that going. I also have done biometric entry systems on my house. So we had some building work done and we got rid of keys by having these biometric fingerprint scanners. So that's very, it's been be very interesting and everything's IP, all IP and PRE. So I think yeah, it's the next, it's the next way of powering things, PRE. I really enjoy it. It was quite a big job. We had a lot of cabling rerun and cabinets put in for it all. And just being make, making sure that whatever you do, you do it so it doesn't affect anyone and that it's got that complete resilience to it. So with the, all the fingerprint scanners and cameras all on battery backups and a, generation, a generator system as well in case of power loss. So it's been, I, th I think the challenges were the cost and resilience to us all. So I work three days a week for Rochester Independent College. I'm a technician there for them, so I'm helping out with a bit of everything really. I uh, mostly help with creative arts, but they, I'm helping them with migration of a database to a, to a new database system, so I'm helping them with all of that. I think it depends what it is. The best thing for me is visiting a trade show. I love going and seeing a trade show, seeing the companies hands-on, knowing what's out there, and then being able to go, go home, think about it, and learn how to apply it. And definitely, trade shows are the best way to network, so if, if anyone, yeah, people should come visit trade shows.